Hello, this is Dampro. Welcome to my rigging channel and another Blender rigging tutorial. This is part two of my facial rig tutorial series. So today we're going to start adding a facial rig or part of a rig for the eyes. So we're just going to start there. I think it's a very easy rig um, to set up. Now I've seen a lot of different people rig these quite a few different ways and I'm just going to show you the best way that I know how to rig an eye. So we actually have some spherical eyes so it's actually going to be very easy. It's a little bit harder if you have uh, non-spherical eyes if you're using like a lattice modifier um, but this will actually be pretty easy. So um, tip right now I have the eyes parented to the um, deformation mode for the head and that's just to temporarily um, move them with the head so it didn't look too creepy. Uh, next up, let's select the eye and I actually want to go to um, edit mode here and I'm going to select the central loop that goes around the center of the eye and do shift S cursor to selected and I can go back to my armature shift A in edit mode add a bone there for the eye I'm actually going to take this and do RX negative 90 and then GY and drag this back. Now the reason I'm aligning it this way is so the axis of this eye is going to be aligned with the axis of the world. So this is actually going to be a control bone. So we'll call this eye. Next up I'm going to add yet another bone. I'm going to select the tip of the eye bone, do E to extrude, GY and drag out a new bone. And this will be a mechanism bone for the eye. Now, these positions might be a little bit weird for you right now. I'll explain why I'm doing it this way here in a little bit. So, mch.i. Next, I'm going to take an exact duplicate copy of mch.i. So, in front orthographic view with that selected, shift D to duplicate it, and then G, X. I want to drag this out to the center. And I want to make sure this is exactly at the center. So, I'm going to go to the transforms of this bone. And at the head, I'll type in 0 then control C copy that and then control V paste it at the tail end too so I know that that is exactly centered on zero and because I um, drug it over on the x-axis I know it's right in line with that so this is <laughs> the central one will be called uh, MCH oops MCH dot I center with that one selected. Again in side view, do shift D and then G Y. I'm going to drag out a new bone. This is actually going to be a control so I'll give it a normal name. I'm actually going to do Alt F and flip it around to Alt F. So with that selected. And then rename it. We'll call this I target. Again I'm aligning it with the axes of the world. Now next up, I'm going to go to pose mode and we're going to add a constraint. So basically what I want to do is have the central eye use a constraint that's going to point it directly at the head of this. So I'm going to use a um, damp track constraint and this will be the target. So I'll select eye target as the target of the constraint. Select the eye center which is going to get the constraint on it. Shift control C, add constraints with targets. I will select damp track and now you'll notice when I move this around it's going to rotate and point the y-axis of this bone directly at that. Now the reason I'm using the central bone here and the reason I wanted these two bones aligned uh, the exact same is now I can actually take this MCHI and copy the rotations of this one. So this will be the target of the copy rotation constraint. I want the copy rotation on the eye, the MCHI itself. So shift control C, add a copy rotation. And I can just leave this as a copy rotation of the world space here. What I want you to notice here is now when I move that eye target, this eye is going to do exactly what that central eye is going to do. Now if I go back into edit mode, I want to parent the actual eye control to that. Control P, keep offset. And then I can actually select the um, Gramps left eye and parent it directly to the eye bone. This actual control bone back here, control P, set parent to bone. So I've just basically unconnected it from the head bone which it was currently parented to and put it over there. Now I should actually set up some parenting on the MCHI. So now we have the eye bone parented to the MCHI so it's going to rotate whenever that does. We want these two bones parented to our our deaf head, control P, keep offset, and I'm just going to temporarily um, parent the eye target to the head bone as well. So 
I will actually go in here a little bit later and uh, add a few other uh, options to this, but I just want to keep this tutorial simple and very straight to the point. And now what I want you to notice in pose mode, if we move our eye target, obviously this rotation is going to um, rotate like the center, and then our eye bone is, because it's parented to our MCHI, it's going to rotate as well, and then we can grab this as an animator and rotate it um, to adjust the eye if we need to fine tune it. Now a final step here is to duplicate these control mechanisms to the other side. You'll probably notice that I did not name anything .l and that's because I'm going to make Blender do that for me. So I'm going to select MCHI and the actual eye bone. Auto name left and right. So it's going to append .l to those bones and then with them still selected I can go back to armature symmetrize and it will create the right eye for me. So now if I go to pose mode what I want to do, make sure that everything is cleared out here. I want to select the right eye, parent that to i.r, control p, set parent to bone, and now I have a look at target that works for both eyes. Now the reason I like to set it up this way is because you can move this target in and you're not going to cross the eyes by accident. That's why that central eye is um, important. Now usually, the, the way I usually see other people rig their eyes is they'll have this one point at targets out here. And the reason you don't want to do that, let me just quickly just show you. I'm going to do Shift D to duplicate this. GX. And then Shift D to duplicate again. GX. So the reason you don't want targets out um, on the side here, if I just parent these to that eye target, Control P, keep offset. It's because you're going to get um, some crossing of the eyes. So as you move your eye target around, you'll basically have to rotate that eye target to keep those eyes straight. And using this central eye method is going to uh, be a lot easier to animate and a lot less to um, deal with. So that's why I like to rig it this way. We'll just get rid of these extra eye bones here. Now, as always, we should always uh, double check whether our bones are deforming or not. Obviously, this one. This, none of these bones actually need to deform our mesh because we've parented our eyes directly to our eye um, control bones. We can actually select them all and do Shift W instead of going through each one under bone properties and setting the deform option. So Shift W will give us a special menu where we can do uh, deform and then we can toggle what we want. So we want to disable deforming on all of those bones. So now if we cycle through here and look, you'll notice that the deform option down here, where is it? Down a little lower, right there, has been checked off for all those bones. So that's a quick way to, to do uh, this in a big batch. So um, as you add new bones to your armature, it's always going to come in with the, the deform option checked on by default. And this is just a quick way we can shut it all off. Now I don't usually find any um, toggle to be a very useful setting because it's just going to if it's set to deform, it'll turn it off, and if it's not set to deform, it'll turn it on. I like to just use enable or disable so I know exactly what I'm setting it to. All right, so that is a very basic eye rig. And we can also cross our eyes if we want to by hand. We can rotate this any way we want. Something else we should probably do is not allow our animator to pull the eyeball out of the head. So let's set up some transform locks here. I probably should have done this before I duplicated it, but now I can just... Um, change the lock the location so we can't pull it out of the head. It's just for rotation and we don't need to scale it either. So we can lock the scale values. Let's do this for the uh, right eye as well. And because these are all mechanism bones, um, we don't need to have the animator touch these at all. We don't want to uh, give the possibility of them breaking the rig by pulling them out of their sockets or rotating when they shouldn't. So basically the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to select one of these bones, lock all the transforms, and then I'm going to just copy the transform locks to uh, the other bones by selecting these bones first, the ones that I locked last. I can use the copy attributes add-on that comes standard with Blender. Control-C, copy protected transforms, and now all of these are locked as well. So as an animator, I can't go in here and screw up my mechanism bones and wreck my rig. And now we've got the proper transform locks on our uh, eyeballs as well. Now you can actually add quite a few other uh, options to that. I'm going to stop right here right now. I think I'll add those advanced options a little bit later. 
that is a very simple and very effective uh, eye target ray. I hope this these tips help and I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, as always, like and subscribe if you uh, like the contents of this tutorial. Until next time, good luck.